Testing one, two, three. Testing three, two, one. I've run out of numbers to test, but here we are. Hello and welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining me or whatever. Um, so last time I sort of blew off this problem in GitHub uh, where someone was asking me to compare my numbers to theirs. And the reason I blew it off is because, well, I hate people, and also because I don't know C well enough to write a good program to do what we, uh, what we wanted to do. Uh, I, I found some hackarounds using Perl scripts and stuff, and, and they took forever to run, and they didn't run very well, and I don't remember what else happened because I have no memory, but blah, 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 bad things happened. So today, I'm going to try to learn enough C um, to, to solve that problem. I'm going to compute the positions of the stars uh, both in uh, J2000 and B1850, and then compute the constellation, uh, and, and then I'm going to also adjust for proper motion, and then I'm going to, I don't know, cure the coronavirus or something, and then, you know, because that, that's probably even easier than what I'm about to do. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. And we are going to give up on our orange Danish kangaroos for right now. They will be, I'm actually downloading that data now, and we will be looking into that later. Um, we can also look at an old copy of the data just to see how we would go about uh, fucking with wiki data. I think I've even written some, no, I haven't. Okay, so let's go back to our lovely um, program whose name I forget because I'm an idiot. Uh, no, not, not junk, not ecliptic. Oh, is this... We can always find it by going, can always find it by first getting out of Emacs, which is very difficult, by the way. Some, some people, it, it's control X, control C, but since most people just try to do control C or something, they get stuck in it forever, which is, which is kind of nice because those people aren't really smart enough to be doing anything else. Um, okay, and that was a nasty thing to say. Okay, so let's see what we're done here. I think it is BC Constell Star, of course, because it is, uh, always has the wrong name. And this time I'm going to make an actual effort to maybe... Um, you know, I'm going to make a note of that. Okay. Um, posting code to stack. Uh, do not change it. Make a note not to change it. Uh, of course, they still break if other files changed. But at the very least, the code is going to be, try to keep it uh, fairly consistent. So we're going to just start off with doing something. Um, uh, well, the first thing we have to do is point out these instructions. These uh, c this comment will be uh, will go away. Um, the second thing we're going to do is we're not going to do this. Unfortunately, the the, the, the I'm going to try to really do this correctly, which is a huge mistake on my part, because that means I actually want to try to read the HYG data in its compressed form. I want to do a zcat uh, of that data and pull it into C. And then, by the way, that's only the beginning of my hideous problems because, I wonder if Z less would have worked, hang on. I think, it, I think that one does. Yeah. Because then I'm gonna try to do comma separated values for all of these things so I can get, um, so I can get these uh, data and compute the position. And then I'm gonna shoot myself. Um, in the foot several times, but that's actually what C programming is all about. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm pretty sure the command I'm looking for here uh, is that I need to bring up Firefox again because I'm going to be doing a lot of Googling. Um, it's called popen for process open. Um, motherfucker, it has a man page. Wow. I forgot that C functions do have, most languages do not have man pages for their functions. Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. Creating pipe for blah 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 blah. Oh, and the character type here is going to be we're going to be reading from it. So uh, let's see. I wonder if I can do this. Uh, file fh for file handle. P open. Zcat. Now I'm not going to be super super. Um, I mean, really, I could give the whole path here, and I could even look at the environment variables, um, BC, I think, which are get home and, are they? No, BC get home or something. No, they're not. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to give a hard path. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to be pure about this. So already I've lost some of my, my pureness. Um, okay. 
And fortunately, we do not need to do inner process communication. We're just going to be reading from this. We need to do inner process communications. What we do is give up and find something else to do with our lives. Okay. Uh, now, what can I do with it? I'm pretty sure the next thing would be to do like an F read. Um, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Uh, normal IO stream. Okay, hang on. Maybe we should have read the rest of it. Except, must be close to the P close. Uh, P close, don't P open, fully buffered. Yeah, da da da. Who gives a fuck? Come on. Wait, write, read. Where's freed? Okay. Now, I gotta be careful here because. Well, partly because, um, C is stupid, but notice it doesn't actually return the thing that you're reading, and that's pretty typical for C. Um, ooh. Elements of data, storing them at the location given by pointer. Ooh, shiny. Okay. And we're okay with blocking here because we, we're, we're reading the line and then doing something with it. Um... Okay. Do I just mean read then? I mean, freed actually sounds... No. Man, three read. The read from a... F or P read. Okay, hang on, that sounds more interesting. Okay, so the, it's part of the P read. Um, okay. So actually, I think maybe F read is a better... Um, Number elements each size long. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at, uh, let's go ahead and uh, Google F read in C and just see what the alternatives are here. Because um, I think there's actually a way to do like, <coughs> okay, uh, I did sort of cover my hand, so 50% chance you get corona. Um, da -da -da. I think there's something called S scan F or something. There's there's some more fancier ones. There's some more fancier ones. Um, to to read data in C. Yeah, there we are. And I, it's obviously not gonna be S scan F for us. It's gonna be S scan something. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, that applies to strings. Okay. So that's probably a nicer way of doing things is to read in the string, um, and then S scan F. Oh, that's, oh, hang on. I think I just meant scan F. S scan F is for a string. Scan F, I think, is for a file. Uh, it, which, in, which, or input stream, as we would call it. Okay. Um, um, okay. Read, it is from a file, right? Um, wait. The only thing that kind of worries me is where the frick do I put the file descriptor? Um, right, let's look here. Okay. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little bit too fancy. Oh, scanf reads from the standard input. So that's probably not what we want. Is there an F scan F? There probably isn't, but someone's going to mention it. Oh, there is. Okay, so what can we read here? Okay, this is getting closer to what I'm actually expecting to see. Um, format. Uh, let's look at some examples. I, I think I understand this pretty well. So here we are. Oh, shininess. Um, rewind. Yeah. That's a few nice things that C can do that most languages don't need. So it's the file handle. I want to read. For right now, I just want to read. Oh, I'm just going to be crazy. I'm going to read three strings from it. Uh, I don't want to treat these things as um, numbers because they're not always numbers. And we will not do that. And so this is just, just testing out, of course, here. Char, um, stir one, 50. I think this is how, let me double check, but I think that's how you declare a string. 
Uh, yeah, you don't need to say char star because it, the array isn't in, in, in C, everything is stupid. And that includes the array. How arrays are. Arrays are pointers. And pointers are arrays. And everything is all magical and fucky. All right, let's see if this works. BC const l star invalid initializer. Yep. I need to do an include of something. Yep, stidlib. I don't have those included already? Oh my god. That's kind of strange. I could have sworn that BC lib included them, but hey, I'm not even going to put them into BC lib because if I don't need, haven't needed it so far, let's just go ahead and do this. <sighs> okay. So we don't have the freaking file. Um, I know it's an integer, by the way. I just I know it's an integer, uh, but let's let's just see if we can get the file type. See, and this is where I hate cheating, because really, it would be good to have a file type. Um, Alright, C, where is file type defined? Maybe it's in another... Yeah. Um, it's considered an opaque data type. Is in studio. Okay. Okay, so I do have that. Um, I did put that in there, right? Yep, there you are. Mr. Include Studio. From my radio to su studio. Get a little bit of song with this. Uh. Alright, so either I'm pulling in the wrong studio. Um, I'm using an older, well, let's see what version of GCC I'm using. Yeah, 485, that should definitely have this. So let me try this again. Um, invalid? Do I mean file star? Do I have to make this a pointer? Uh, maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Ooh! I mean, yeah, that's what I expected. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so that has to be a file pointer. Now let's see what this does. I think... Did I have it print out anything or just read? I think I was stupid enough. Yes, I just read stuff and did nothing with it. So let's actually go ahead and print out our lovely three strings. Stir one, stir two, and stir three. And see what happens. Ooh. Technically correct. Because I said read in a string. I did not say read in a string until you hit the c character comma. Um, oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. I sort of did, though, didn't I? String, string, string. Okay, so this is obviously not doing, this is doing, um, uh, let's actually do this. Let's. I get the feeling everything got pulled into st stir one because, um, I, uh, maybe the commas is well. Let's find out why. Let's, let's just. Back in my day, you couldn't just do, r you know, recompile stuff. Uh, I don't see the word then in there anywhere. So I'm a little bit unhappy. Let's go even funkier with this. Uh, line two is another string, and then line three is yet another string. And these are, should this should work. Okay, boys and girls. The only thing I'm thinking is it's potentially that Is that just because of the length limitation that I have there? Let me make these strings bigger, actually. Yeah, this was actually a terrible length limitation to put on them. Because, oh, I was expecting them each to be one piece of the puzzle, so. Let's see, this is all going to go into stir one now. Yep. So. Try 
going to get it to format out these commas because I'm pretty sure that's what's supposed to happen. Yo mama. Okay, not, not there. F scan F. Uh, let's... Do we have it open? We probably do. Um... Okay. Yada 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 yada. Stream format. Oh. Holy fuck. Um. Specify. Oh my fucking god. Okay, Pomodoro time, but it is the first one, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip it. Okay. Single character. String of characters! You son of a bitch. You cannot apparently change um, the comma. You cannot change white space to be a comma. All right. Let's just jump ahead a little bit. Blah, blah, blah. Who gives a fuck? I keep forgetting I don't have ad block installed here. Ooh. Fucking kidding me? Okay. Uh huh. I like the fact that um, the comments are longer than the, the code here. Okay. I think this is really good. Oh, there it is. We don't have a bar thingy on it, though. Why don't we have a bar thingy? Oh, there we are. Okay. So either this is more difficult than I thought, which means I can just hack something in. Um, oh, my fucking god. Are you kidding me? Uh... Uh, got a minus one, though. All right. Maybe we'll go to this site that is probably also stupid. Okay, the introduction. Samples. I love this. Um, that just gets you the raw file. Okay. This might be the thing, the stir token, string tokenize. Um, okay. Now what I heard there though is you can't have empty, uh, empty, um, empty things in stir talk. But let's take a look at stir talk. And yes, we are going to um, pick a new. We are. We're not even going to bother to do a man page. We're just going to read about it here. Okay. Um. Okay, so this apparently needs to be called directly on a string. Now, I'm I'm hoping just for the sake of C, you know, C, there is no F stir talk. There probably is though. Oh, come on. Okay, so I think what we need to do, the first thing, is just read this in as, as one line. So th this is, um, I don't think we could try to split it while it's still, in, that's actually better programming practice, too. Uh, one step at a time, so we're just going to go ahead and read it. Um, I don't even think we need this, right? We just need a, we just need a read command now. So, so, kind of gone a lot of the way into something we didn't need. Um... Now, I think New Line is a special character, so you can get it to read until um, until the New Line, even without knowing the size ahead of time. Um, let's see if New Line... Ooh. Okay, let's maybe do Freed. It's a Freed ride. Yeah. 
Um, let's just see. New line. Okay. Carriage return? No one says that anymore. C. Read to new line. Read line by line would be another way of saying it. That's what we need then, isn't it? Um, booyah. And actually, even 500 might not be long enough for this, so let's go ahead and say 10. That's ridiculously high. Uh, so what this would do is a uh, pointer to that's that's fine. Uh, 10,000 care up to 10,000 characters, and from the stream called FH. Okay, then we will. I'm gonna go ahead and push this to Git, even though it's broken, because I like pushing stuff to Git that's broken. Um, I should really have a reminder to push stuff to Git. All right, I'll I'll push. And then we just need to print out Mr. Mr. Line Man, bring me a dream. Show me a line of code from the stream. Yeah, that rhymed. Okay, that looks like it worked. All right, fantastic. Now, of course, it would be good to read, like, more than just the header line, because, I mean, you know, you know, people get all weird about that. Um, so, I think we can do this. Is it F-E-O-F? gets it and I gets it and I prints it by the way this is what underdog says in case you're wondering how I got that I'm humble thanks shushan boy you're humble and lovable okay now let's see if oh that still is compiling now this is gonna spew out a ton of crap um, as expected this is good good stuff uh, good good stuff um, I guess what I'm going to do is do this just to see that it does... Oh, damn, that was fast. Okay, that worked. It's almost, it's worth another BC git. Hang on. Uh, okay. Now, you could ask the question, why am I not doing this on Replit where I could annoy even more people instead of git? Um, I don't think Replit lets you do C coding, and I'm, I'm saying that, and I get the feeling... But that's like what it was built for or something. They're like, uh, yeah, we do. That's the only thing we d did at one point. All right, new REPL. Uh, oh, right, because I can't get the C Spice libraries in there. That's why. So this, what I'm doing right now, is just basic, uh, is just basic C, but at some point I'm going to need the C Spice libraries, and that's going to, that's what's going to mess this up. So, okay, we're good. All righty. So now let's see if we can use stir talk, um, which according to this we won't be able to use it because, according to this, according to something we won't be able to use it because it doesn't accept empty tokens. Uh, but I, maybe they fixed it. N or maybe, you know, whatever. Maybe it's changed. I mean, some people are going to say, well, it's supposed to work that way, it's not fixed. But, you know, they changed it maybe. All right, so what this does is it returns a string. Uh, that doesn't seem too bad at all. Okay, so let's just, uh, well, I'll copy the signature. All right. And in theory, I don't even need to, um, and the string is line, and the constant character delimitator is not a, um, now the problem with that, that is not a, oh, sorry, 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 no, no, it's char star. Right, right. So when they say char star here, they actually mean, um, a string. I thought it was a one character delimitator, but no, it's a string. Okay, and this will return a char star, uh, which I guess we can remember. Let's just see what this does. I mean, usually it's not a good idea to, because um, what I'm doing here is I'm actually printing a string. It, this returns a string, but I'm not copying it to any, any file name, um, which is bad. Um, so this is one of those things you hate about C. This function happens to return a string, but there are other functions like this that will return an int saying whether everything went okay, 
and then you would have to pass in the string as input to the function. It is just fucking stupid. But that's C. It is fucking stupid. That might be their motto. C. Fucking stupid. Okay, token... Uh, I needed to put a... Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, and wait a minute, what happened to line? Oh! Yes. I think once I start tokenizing line, bad things happen to line. That were apparently from this, although... Oh. Token? Zero? So that's... Okay, good, 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 good. Now, of course, there's gonna be more than one token. Okay. How do we know when we're done tokenizing the line, dude? Um, first token found in the string. Okay. A null pointer is returned if there are no tokens left to. Okay. So this is where we need to... We need to step up our game a little bit and create a string to hold this. Um, we will read out the comma. Okay, I do not want to do... Fuck. Oh, actually... This will end when we hit null. I mean, I hope it will. Okay, so this will give me the token number. Um, uh, so this should give me... I'll go ahead and put a new line there. This should pull out all the tokens and automatically move to the next line. <laughs> it won't, of course. Because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. So I need to move on to the next token somehow. Um, well, token not equal to null. Wait. Get the first token. Oh, does... What the hell? Okay, I thought I understood this. Um, so the second... So the first call to stir token is basically, you know, what you need, um, what you expect it to be. The other tokens you apparently have to call... Really? How stupid is this? Motherfucker. So basically, once you've run it, it sort of knows magically. Motherfucker. Um. So apparently the first run of Stir Talk and the future runs are different. The first run does something magical, and the second run after that, you just give it, um... The same string... But no, but why? That doesn't even make sense. Okay, let's look for alternatives to stir talk. Which we don't think is going to work for our case anyway, by the way. Um, oh god, people are going to be writing code here. Um, yeah, see, this is apparently the, the, the issue. You really do have to say null after the first one. Um, Stortuck is kind of lame. Um, modifies the original input string. Okay. Oh god. Um, I did it my way. So there isn't obviously a built-in stir talk. Um, 
interface. Um, okay, so there's no built-in, so we do have to... Let's suck it up, and... Uh, while the file is not closed, read the line. Line. Okay, then we're going to say S equals store talk line. And I guess that's what they mean. The, now the line has been modified, so it no longer... Um, so it no longer has the first token. So... This... This just bothers me. Let's see what this does. If this works, I'm going to be... This is the case where if it works, I'm going to be unhappy. Well, okay, good. Suggest parentheses... Okay. Oh. Wait, hang on. So this is an assignment, but you can compare it to null, then do this. That should just make things worse. That compiled. I don't like it. Okay, token, that's not supposed to be null. Um, uh, I guess we could put the first token. Store talk. Oh, 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 hang on, I can't do that. I do need the null here. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's what it does. Now the only issue here is can it give me empty tokens? Uh, which of course to do that we need to find one, but there's another way to do this which is really clever actually. Um, and it looks like, by the way, it's not giving us empty tokens. But but there's a real clever way to do this. Um, we're going to count the number of... Now, this is actually one because we've already found one up here, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. The question is, is it going to be consistent? Uh, so this is after the while loop. Printf found tokens. And the number we found is count. We reset it every time. So that should work. Uh, da, 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 da. 37, 28, 28, oh, hang on, 27, 20. Yep, did not work. Um, all right, so now we could go further into this by saying stir talk and null tokens. Yeah, I think that these are tokens. Um, Well, you have to pass a null pointer, but that's not what I'm wanting. Uh, okay. God damn. So this is a terrible function, and it doesn't work either. So this is just like a double fail. I'm going to go ahead and push it into git, because I like pushing fails into git. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and not do that, obviously. Um, An other thing we could do is we could do, I think... Um, we saw s scan f earlier, which we didn't use. Uh, but let's see if we can use it. We probably can't use it now either, but I forgot what it did, so let's check. Um, format that allows... Okay. Okay. What the hell? Now, I know that's an ignore. Um, but I think we tried this before, and the comma doesn't do what we think it does. Does this also return char star? No, of course it doesn't. Um,
to locations given by the additional arguments. Okay, that actually kind of makes sense. Hmm. Additional arguments. Now, do I just want to... Um, let's just go crazy and say, see, split line into array. This is There's no built-in thing that does that. Um... Most languages have one that does that, but um, yada yada yada. You cannot use stir talk. All right, Pomodoro time. Back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back, and we are still almost back because I got to put on my glasses because I'm going blind. But that's from diabetes, not Corona. I don't think blindness is a symptom of Corona. Okay. Um, so this is not what we want. Yeah. All right. So our issue here is stir talk doesn't work for us because. Uh, we have uh, empty uh, empty results, which we want. Okay, there's actually an a easier way to do this, I think. Um, we can actually have C scan for the position of commas in the string. And I think that's not called stir pause. Stir in pause. String. Oh, wow, I didn't expect that to work. Oh, it's, I think it's index, actually. Um, well, these are shiny. Let's see if one of these helps us. All right. Hey, wait a minute. No, <laughs> I want documentation. All right. You know what? Let's just actually put this page up and then go document in another window. So first we're going to do this one, which I think is um, case sensitive comparison. Ignoring, okay, case insensitive. Oh, okay, case insensitive, not what we need, but kind of cool. Um, this suggests we're gonna have problems. The index is, oh, wow. Um, Okay, so this looks like it's useful. The only problem is I get the feeling it's going to return the same, uh, the first comma over and over again, because there's nothing here that indicates um, uh, Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Mark does it, so we don't even want to use that, because they have changed it. This does not sound like it's very interesting. Okay, that was an interesting, as I said. Uh, Stir cat, what does that do? 
Appends the source thing to the nuts. What we want? Stercher. Oh, this is the one we want. Yeah. Returns a pointer to the first occurrence. Mm. Of the character string C. In H. Hmm. I mean, so the theory is if we kept stir Turing using that as an array index, we could bump our way down. Um, first point. So, in other words, we get the first one, and then we would get, we would give it the string starting at a different index. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's see if there's a better one. Store comp, I happen to know what that does. It just compares strings to see which one is bigger. Oh, I was hoping that was correlate, but it's just compared using locale. Store copy just copies. This one sounds interesting. Search a string for a set of bytes. Not really what we're looking for. Uh, Store dupe, I think, just duplicates a string, but that... Oh, yeah, okay. That should be just, by the way, stir fry is a really cool function that doesn't do what we want. It actually randomizes uh, uh, the uh, string, which is a special um, GNU feature only. Stir length, stir and comp, stir and copy. Stir set, stir tokenize. This, I think, is find a character. This basically does the opposite of stir chart. It finds the last occurrence of the string in C. Okay. Stir stir, what the hell does this do? Oh, it finds a string in, a, in another string, I think. <coughs> Substrate, yep, 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 yep. And this is our last hope, uh, which I don't think is going to work. Jesus fucking Christ. Whatever the hell it does, I don't understand it. Although I'll make a note here to make my stream for adults only, because I curse a lot. And I like cursing a lot. Okay. I might already have it set that way, though. So, anyway. Do need to do that. Um, okay. So, really, the way I would have done this if I didn't know about any more interesting... Um, functions like stir talk um, I mean the other way we could do it is we can modify the input string create a new string uh, that is equivalent uh, but <coughs> add a space between commas uh, which we, we could certainly do that I mean there's a way to do that but um, what I would have used here if I hadn't known better would be the stir what is the, whatever the hell it is that I don't remember anymore. Because I'm stupid. Uh, hang on. The, the stir, um, the one that replaces index, basically. Stir. Da -da -da -da. Oh, come on. Which one is it? Stir. I think it's stir -cher. Stir -cher. Locate character in string. Okay. Returns a pointer to the first occurrence of the... Notice it doesn't return an integer. It returns a pointer uh, pretty much the remainder of the string, I think. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, that doesn't sound too bad. Okay. So first we're just going to experiment with it. Like, um, So we're going to get rid of the tokenization code here. Goodbye, tokenization code. I knew you. Uh, test... So this should return the string without um, structure. This should return line without the uh, without the first element in it, because it's giving us a pointer, and a pointer is like a string. Um, blah 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 blah. And where the hell am I? I? Hang on, I don't know if that worked. 
Passing argument two of makes integer from pointer without a cast. Does that have to be a character? Oh, I think it does, actually. It does. It's an int. So it's a character, not a string. Let's do that, then. Um, let's just see if this compiles. No, it doesn't like it. Warning. Unexpected. Oh, okay. Didn't. There's a couple things it doesn't like. Uh, one is this. Oh, shit. Um, no, that's fine. And one is this. And it doesn't like the fact that I declared a variable s that I'm going to use, but I'm not going to use it right now. So I'm not going to get rid of it. Yeah, that's not a hideous thing to do. Okay. Test. Okay, cool. So it does actually return. Um, it actually returns uh, the, the remainder of the string. Crap. I wanted the position, which I'm pretty sure is stir enter. If it existed. Return. Uh, this should probably give me an also see, see also. Um, index, R index, which we don't use anymore. Stir, stir. And it said m index should not be used anymore. Um, stir. Okay, so these do not return an integer that gives me... I mean, we could actually use it that way because... Um, because strings are really arrays and we could... S we, could we could subtract. Ah! This first been do. Okay. All right, let's make this thing even uglier than it is. Um, so we have the line. Now here we're going to say int pause equals stercher line comma. That's that's actually a pointer, but if we subtract it with, I'm going to say line for right now. It's going to eventually be s because we need to sort of chop s up a little bit. And believe it or not, this should give us the position because of the stupid way c works. Assuming it compiles. Yep. Yep, it's fine. Pause one, pause two. Okay. Wait, why is that helpful to us? Right, that is actually position two. Okay, and this one is position zero, one, because the zero is the first position. So now what we could do is we could create a substring. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Uh, we could create a substring. I guess uh, the one thing we kind of want to do here is also... Okay, so... Uh, we have line. I guess we could, we could torture line a little bit. So now here's what we can do. We can do something very, very strange. Um... No, that's too strange. Um, I'm pretty sure the next is not going to be the next comment. It's just going to be the same first one over and over again. One way around that... Um, one way around that is to keep truncating line as we get more stuff, but that still doesn't give me the positions. doesn't really give me what I want. Um, so what I could do is just take the string, uh, the first, you know, n characters of the string, and then... Oh, you know what? Because the strings are arrays, I could probably just do a... Um, do a pop. Technically, it's an array, that's why. So, or a, the, the opposite of a pop. I could just take out the first two characters from the string and then um, <laughs> K 
Okay. Yeah. I'm kind of stumped. I mean, another thing we do is actually go through the freaking string and um, character at a time, which is, I think, what these things do anyway. Um, look for commas. Um. <sighs> I mean, it's kind of what we're doing here anyway. Uh, but the the issue is we also need to now know the, the the first comma is there, so we now need to know... This might work, actually. Hang on. <coughs> so we'll start off with saying int pause equals zero. And then we'll sign pause to this. Um, so I mean, we're only doing this once, so it doesn't really do anything. But um, let's print it three times and see. I mean, it's not going to do what I want. I'm almost sure this is. I'm printing it four times. I should probably print it in there too. This will give me the same thing four times, is what I'm guessing. Um, but if it does, I kind of know where I want to go with it. Yeah. Okay. So instead of searching in line, um, search in line of pause. And actually, pro do we want... Um, do this real quick. Oh, hang on, because every time we have to... Um oh! That's actually interesting, because we, 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 we redo pause each time. Um, yeah, this maybe will give us the first four fields, but it won't really, because uh, we're, we're, we're... Well, actually, maybe it will. Let's find out. This, this, this code could... Um, wait, what? Passing argument one makes pointer from integer without cast. No? No, it doesn't. So where do you, it's one of my... It's an array index, you piece of shit. I don't. I think this is gonna memory fault on us. Yep. Um, I'm doing this wrong somehow. Um, line is a string, so in theory it does. I should be able to say. Well, let's see if I can. I might be off by like a star or something, so let's see. In theory, this should give me the whole line and then the line starting at character 25. In reality, it will not. Um, yeah, this is... Yep, didn't think that would work. Okay, so what am I doing wrong here? Uh, do I mean star line 25? Because line is a... Oh shit, line is a character. I, that's not what I meant. I meant, um... I think I meant address of line 25. That's probably what I meant. And that's giving me fewer warnings. And that is... Yep, that's what I meant. I'm going to go ahead and push this because I like pushing things. Like kids on playgrounds, man. All right, that's what I meant to do. Okay. So what I really want to do here is get the string. Okay, so we find the um, the first position, and I'm going to put it in a for loop this time, so we don't need this. Um.
This is obviously just a test. Everything's a test. Your life is a test, man. Let's do this. That probably won't work. Every time. Wait. Oh, no. This one. This time I got it. I'm on top of this. Probably should be a way to turn off unused variable bullshit. Um, not what I expected. All right, Pomodoro time. Back in two and two. And I am almost back. And I'm back. I was thinking I, I think I know what I did wrong. I think I need a plus one in there somewhere because I think what's happening here is that I'm getting up to the comma but not quite trimming it. So let's just con con comma 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 let's just confirm that. I can't talk. I shouldn't talk. Uh, yeah. So what we really want here is, um, pause plus one. Okay. That should break things nicely. Still not looking too good. I guess here I should say pause plus one. Do I need a... I shouldn't need a pl another plus one here. This should be fine. Um... Okay, I probably need to make it clearer, but this should be... Okay, huh? I mean, you should be able to do this sort of assignment here. Mm, 
maybe I mean this. So now I'm just randomly typing code in the hope that it does something useful. Um, never works. Okay. No, we still have the issue of... Oh, we, we actually never leave the first line, but that might be okay. Because we will, will eventually. So, ip. Um. Three. Am I biffing this somehow? I mean, I really should do it. Oh, shit. Yes, of course I'm biffing this. I mean, that, I was going to look for that error earlier. Yeah, of course we can't do that. Um, so now let's go back to what I thought it was, which should be just this. I don't think we need the plus one. Um, and yes, I realize these should be indented. So indent, indent. And obviously we're going to keep new pause and old pause. We're not going to keep a single variable around for this because that's not going to make sense. Okay. Okay, now it's failing for a better reason. Um, okay, so I'm not resetting pause each time, but am I... Am I still printing the string that starts... I am still printing the string that starts with a comma. So I think what I need to do here is... Add one to go beyond the comma. Okay. Hey, 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 we're getting the um, proper. Yes, we're sucking up the nice variables very nicely. Okay. Now, of course, just getting the positions isn't super helpful. Wait, 38? Oh, because I'm... That shouldn't work that way, actually. Oh, shit, because I'm now I'm cascading. So I really do need to set position to zero every time. Or to one, actually. Because this snipped off these things. Now, hang on, this seems to be working. Why did my... Oh, my line gets messed up because once I do this pause... Actually, it shouldn't be getting messed up. Hang on. Oh, right, because I'm actually... Oh, right, this is actually something else. Never mind. Uh, HRGLBF, proper... Okay, that's what I want. I'm going to go and push this, because it's working. Kind of. Okay. We don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. Um... I think this should be um, okay. So this is the position. Um, okay. So this is always going to be assigned, and we're going to say old position equals zero. Also, and then we are should be able to get to where we need to be. And then, um, and then it'll going to be pause versus old pause. Okay, and then here we're going to set old pause equal to pause. Pretty standard programming technique there. And I'm probably, I probably broke it somehow. Seriously. Oh, wow. Thirteen versus ten, sixteen versus nineteen versus sixteen. Um, wow. So if I've done this correctly, we should be able to get, um, very close to getting the portion of the string we want. We want to, we're going to want positions 11, 7 through 11 or whatever. But there's a magic way of doing this. Um, I mean, technically, it, it's it's an array, so we don't even need to... Uh... All right, let's see what it is. Strcom, strcom, strcopy, str... We need something here that has an N in it. 
Stern Cat. Because we are looking to only copy the first N characters. Um, la 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 Stir and Cat might be what we're looking for. Um, appends the source string to the destination string. Okay, that's not what we need. Stir and copy. That's almost definitely what we need. Stir copy. Okay, right there. At most, if there's no <laughs> string blazed. Oh, that should be fun, actually. Um, that should be really, really fun. Um, so, stir and copy. Oh, it returns a string. It returns a pointer to a string. Um, Okay, so we do need a destination string to, to hold the data. And what the hell does it actually return then? Not happy. Okay, so let's go ahead and now we can use S again. It'll be happy that we, we used S. Uh, da -da -da -da. Copy the definition here because I'm stupid. Stir and copy. The destination will be S because we declared it for that reason. The string, the string will be actually line, I guess, of new pause? No, of old pause. That's our character source, and we want pause minus old pause position. This is, this is not going to go well. I don't know why I needed a space there. I didn't. S. We might be able to make S uh, a thing that moves as well. So that might be the way to do that. Uh, okay. Hang on. And S can no longer be... It actually needs to be... Um, actually needs to be a string. Because we're going to copy stuff into it. Okay. We're very close to what we need, but not quite there. Well, actually, are we? Excuse me while I do terrible body fu bodily functions. While you listen. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Proper comma. So I mean, we're kind of there. Yeah, we're not really there though. So is it because? No, I mean. Maybe I I'm off by a minus one here. I think it's I only want that minus one. I don't want want all of it. So let's see what that does. Programming by randomly trying to get stuff to work. Oh, that's not good. Hip P. What the hell is this P coming in for? Why why are you peeing on me? Uh 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 uh. Deck per. Okay, so we're, we're actually, that is not what we want. I mean, I guess the other problem is that, um, that the string is not actually terminated. Um, did I say minus one? I meant plus one there, didn't I? That's probably what I meant. Let's see if that makes it any better. I'm just randomly doing stuff now. Um, 
And I think the problem is I actually need to blank out. I'm, I don't want to stir and copy. Does that add to S? Because that's not what I want to do. I want to replace S. Let us find out. Um... Okay. And they're showing us how you could even implement it yourself if you wanted to. Um, so we find the position in the old, that, that seems okay. And then we want the characters in line that go from there to there. Well, I guess the only kind of weirdness here is... Why is it going through line and giving us the character? Oh, because I'm using minus line, that's why. Um, so that is just bizarre. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, really tempted now to just um, just write it myself. It's not that hard, really. Well, let's just see what let's just see what their sample implementation would be. Um, so th as they point out, you can actually do this yourself. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Um, so the first thing we let's print them all together now. Sun, old paws and new paws. And maybe I will print out line each time as well. Um, yeah, let's see what this does. Magical world of make-believe. Yep, wrong place. Um, oh yeah, no, print F, not print. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, I'm just calling it pause, aren't I? Not new pause. Okay. Alrighty, now let's see what we get. Okay. So the string, this is L or S. Three to seven. So that's a line. ID, comma. So we got two extra characters here. Three to zero. We really just want one, two, three characters, so I do need a, do not need to add one there. Let's try that again. Okay, so why is this? Unless that comma is something I'm, pr oh, am I an idiot? No, I'm not. There's a space there, not a comma. So S is BF proper, R A per. Oh, so I'm not, okay, because it's not, okay, because it's not null uh, terminated, that's why. Okay. And we could fix that pretty easily by, okay. I think we could actually fix that by making S the null string each time. Uh, because we don't need S to carry over. Yeah, this should fuck it up nicely. I'm pretty sure that's not going to work because you can't assign strings like that. Yep. Um, this is hideous. We copy the null string into S. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. Whoa. OK. 
Okay, so when a new field comes along, it's longer, it gets overwritten, but we don't have, um... What? Oh, hang on, I might have mis misdone my stroke copy. Destination source. Okay, so this does not apparently... Oh, yeah, okay. To the, um... Okay, no. Okay, so what we can do here now is... I think this will do it. This will null terminate the string. All right, Pomodoro time. Back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we're still almost back. Ta-da! Now we're back. All right. So let's see what we're doing here. Yeah, so we believe this will actually null terminate our string. Because we know deep in our hearts that strings are just arrays. Um, this really worries me. All right, what if we just go crazy here and say S1 is zero? That should make S, and I think I know what might be wrong if this doesn't work. Well, that did work. Um, that worked really nicely, actually. So I'm unhappy now. Um, oh, do I mean I mean pause minus old pause, of course. Yeah, because that's the that's the little chunk that we're picking up. Yeah, there we go. Only took us three years. Um, blank, 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 blank. That's good. And then, yeah, there we go. So this is the freaking. I'm gonna go ahead and push that to get for sure. Okay, so this is the freaking mess we get, just trying to parse the freaking line. This is why C sucks so badly. All right. Um, and of course, we don't want this to be a for loop. We want this to be... Uh, and this doesn't actually pick up the last um, field either, which I'm guessing isn't that important, but I kind of want to pick it up. That's var max, which is not going to be a huge thing for us, but but it's not good to have this function that doesn't actually pick that up. Um, let's 
So this in theory, this is actually bad because this in theory could return um, a zero if once we run out of comments. Okay. So we need a special case if that that's happening. Um, okay, I think as part of my um, as part of my desire to just make things as useless as possible, we are going to go through the line one character at a time. And we found this method. It's very nice. Very nice. Um, let's screw it. Um, okay, equals zero. I less than um, stir length of line. I plus plus. Um, let's just start with this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> this no longer does anything. Okay, so this, and then we need to end up the, uh, the... Oh, we still need three levels. All right. Yeah, yeah, I know. Unused variable to fuck yourself. All right, so that does work, obviously. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to be pushing these values into an array. Um, it's going to be an array of strings, um, which I think we can... Um, that that's an array of an array because strings themselves are arrays. Uh, let's see. Um, now I get the feeling I cannot do what I'm about to do. I get the feeling that it won't even compile. I cannot create a two-dimensional array like that. Yeah. <coughs> Wait, what? I can. Mmm. I has a suspicious. All right. Um. All right. Well. Okay. We'll set count equal to zero. Um. If C. This is the special case, of course. Um. Line I. This, by the way, would not work with um, with quoted values, but fortunately we don't have any of those. So this is the special case. And I guess we could say count plus plus. And that is short enough to... No, we actually need to do one more thing. We need to terminate the previous string. But um, So we need to say s of count... Um, So I need two... No, hang on. Okay, that's a field counter, and then I need a character counter. Okay, so let's actually be a little bit nicer and name these things. Um, field counter and C counter equals zero. Okay. Um, so let's go to the non... Let's go to the natural case here. So this is going to be C count plus plus... If line I, then we're going to say count plus plus, and we're going to do other things here as well. Um, and then I guess most of the time we're going to try to shove this character into our lovely S array. So this would be S of count CC count equals line I. For those of you who didn't find this confusing enough, all right, let's see if that 
does anything. Count. Oh shit. All right, all right, all right, right, right. C count, and then this is going to be field count. So field count, C count equals that. That's probably fine. Okay. Okay. Oh, actually, hang on. That doesn't. Yeah, the real cons the yeah that's that's not helpful at all. Okay. And then we want to see. Um. How um how s is faring. So this is going to be s zero, s one, s two. I get the feeling the last two are going to be null right now because I'm not doing anything, but this should still at least compile and run. Compile, run. They're very nice. I wish I'd put a new line in there. If you like, you put a new line in it. Okay. So what this should be doing is uh, assigning to S. Oh, hello, Kevy1. How are you doing? Good to see you. I am bored to tears. How are you? Oh, and you know what? C count should be... We should not increment it until after we've done the assignment. So I will continue with this, but the moment you have anything to say, it is by definition more... Oh. By definition more interesting than what I want to do. Okay. Okay, that is what I expected. Um, so we're going to reset that. This is, I think, actually going to do what we want, surprisingly enough. Um, because I think this actually initializes this initializes with all zeros, so this remains null terminated. Okay. Yeah, the word then was probably a mistake. Okay. Oh, and this actually should have a, a continue because we don't want to copy the um we don't want to copy the comma character into it. Um So let's have this say S0 S1, I could even put new lines here, couldn't I? S1. And feel free to break it any time. I'm, I'm really not doing anything important ever with the rest of my freaking life. So. Um, let's see what this does. Why are we getting ID hip? HD Oh, we're not getting null termination. I think that's the problem. All right, that that we can that we can fix. Um That should set the um that should null terminate. Oh, right, we're only doing the first three fields. Um, all right, so the thing I'm not liking here is S0 still has this D in front of it. Um, oh, no, okay, hang on. That should be... Yeah, yeah. This these should be these should be the three strings that I want. Um, and 
This should not be causing an issue. Um, I mean, it works beautifully for the first line. The second line looks like somehow... Um, oh! Well, I mean, you can do everything from scratch if you want. Um, but nowadays, people tend to use things like WordPress um, or there's other stuff like Joomla and Drupal. WordPress, I've used. It's okay. It's not great. Jekyll is another possibility. I like Jekyll because um, really web pages today don't need to be as dynamic as they are. They can be pretty static. Uh, GitHub pages, for example, lets you post static content. Um, so I really don't have any advice except that there are tools that can help you build pages more easily and WordPress takes care, takes care of all the links for you and all that good stuff. Um, and I think Jekyll does as well. So that's, that's all the advice I have, which is pretty crappy. Okay, so the net. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, we don't, we don't reinitialize. Oh, we don't reinitialize S every time we go to a new line. Oh. So we could do this, we declare it every time. I I think someone's going to really whine at me for being very inefficient here. But I think that's a that's a valid thing to do. Yeah. It's still not working, but you know. I mean, this technically doesn't blank out S. Um, it doesn't fill it with zeros, so I mean, that's kind of bad. Yeah, but hang on, we're actually setting it explicitly to null terminate here. The only thing I can think of is that. I'm doing it one step too high. Oh. Yes, yeah, so it would be nice if I returned S to its original declaration. Um, at least declare it once. There we go. Kevy1, please, whenever you're ready, keep going. Anything to save me from this boredom. So we're still getting that little bit of a chunky thing there. Um, all right, so now we're going to go into the nitty gritty here. S percent D percent D goes to, I think I can do that as a character. So F count, C count, and line I. So let's get this boogieing now. And I get the feeling I'm just off by one somewhere. I, I don't think it's a serious problem. Okay. Okay, that is what I want. That is gorgeous. Um, am I just only doing it for 10 fields? I am only doing it for... No. No, I'm doing it for the whole line this time. Okay. Seven. Okay, good, 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 good. Now I'm going to need an S0 coming in somewhere again because we're going to run out of feel. Ooh, here we are. Okay, beautiful. S00 zero, zero to 0. That's the character 0, not the null terminator 0. S6... Ooh. That's the problem. Um, when there's empty fields we're going to get crap. We, we need to handle the case of an empty field. 
In other words, a comma followed by a comma. So, so how do we do that? I mean, one way to do it would be to allow the comma to be part of the um, of the string, so we don't end up with empty strings ever. Um, okay, it is Pomodoro time. I'll be back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back. And we are back. All right. So I think I figured out what we can do here. Um, oh, that's really bad. Sorry. Before we increment, that doesn't actually do anything. There. Before we <laughs> increment the F count, we null terminate it. I think that'll actually work. I was going to do it a different way, but I think that suffices. All right. And I think I meant to say here, C count. Okay, we know the first field's going to be okay. There we go. Second. That's actually correct. All right, let me go ahead and push this version. Wait. That seems a little bit suspicious, so let's keep going. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I did cover my cough, so you're not dying of corona, but I am. Let me push this to git real quick. Um, all right, so now I'm going to go ahead and try to print just the, um, I'm not going to print this anymore. I am going to print the first three strings, but I also want to check something. I want to make sure the first three strings, <coughs> okay, this is fine. The first three strings are, the first two are repeated because they're usually, because they're in, um, they're in, there's ID and HIP, and they tend to match for the early ones in this. Because so, most of this HYG, by the way, is the HIP database, which is why the H is there. All right, so we're going to run this one more time, but I think we're getting pretty close to, um, to being able to do something with this data instead of just, you know, watch, looking at it. It's gorgeous. Okay. All righty. Okay. So this is actually, of course, assigned... Um, all of the strings, all of the array, I, array bits. Uh, so now what we're going to do here is, this is just cheating, kind of. Um, so let's see, f count. 
Yeah, I think it's still going to be in scope, isn't it? So for int... Oh, hang on. Yeah, I might as well make i a permanent index variable. So I'm going to use it more than once, and I don't want to f with it. So here it's just going to be for i equals 0. And so here it's going to be for i equals 0. Mm. i less than f count, because we know what the field count is, i plus plus. Uh, print f string... Oh, that's too silly. So it's going to be string i, and we want, of course, si. Works nicely. Okay. If this runs, I'm going to GitHub it because I'm a freaking paranoid piece of shit. Oh, wow. I really didn't expect it to work. All right, hang on. Okay, so this is really nice, actually. Um, so now we can actually pick off the fields we actually want. We've got to be a little bit careful here. Um, 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 clap, I said um one more time. Okay. Fields we want. I should probably, so let's go ahead and see what, the, I think I've done this in other places, so I know, 7 is the right ascension, 8 is the declination, I don't know if I want, let's just, let's not take the proper magnitude right now, uh, sorry, the proper movement in RA and 17 through 22 are XYZ, VX, VY, VZ. Um, radial right ascension and declination. So I think the rest of these we don't really need. Um, but just to check, I think we do get the last field out of this. And if we don't, I will be angry. So, no we don't! Fuck! So how do we make sure that that happens? Um, again, no one really cares, but... So hang on, so this is... Um, so we've gone through the whole stream, but now we can say S uh, wait a minute. That cannot be a less than or equal to there. And this should have assigned field thirty five. Um it just wouldn't have null terminated it. But that that should feel thirty six. I mean, but all right, let's try that then. S of F count uh, of C count. Is equal to this because I think the last character it's going to read is the new line, uh, which might be OK. Ninety nine percent chance of a segmentation fault now. Nope, I'm wrong. Varmin, and then why does it stop after that? So the first line is does end with var max. So it gets that comma. So what the hell happens here? Let's see. We get the line. We go through the line. And by the way, this should be sp split up into subroutines or something. We see a comma. We do this. So that's fine. And then we assign this. Um, I mean, this, this, this should be correct. Um, okie dokie. Let's see why we're not getting line 36 out of this. Oh, we are. Var max. Um, okay, hang on. Am I just not printing to the right? Oh, that I think is what I need. 
because in this case f count is the index not the number of elements in the array so there so there we are s36 that's awesome so we're getting all of them now okay now back to what we actually need which we don't need that one at all and I think I want to pick up the magnitude just because it helps identify which star we're talking about e more easily than oh, I, oh hang on we also need the ID because um, that one that one we're gonna need um, let's go ahead and pick up the magnitude too 13 okay so now Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is um, confirm that the right ascension and declination match the XYZ coordinates, because if they don't, we found a bigger problem, and then we can complain and be all smart. Now, I probably shouldn't be redeclaring these each time, but apparently I'm supposed to. So it's going to be A to F of S7. Declination is going to be 8. Um, 17, 18, and 19. Okay, and then go away. Um, and then, of course, we can do this. Uh, RA is percent F. I guess we kind of want the ID, don't we? Eh, screw it. We don't we don't need the ID. Alrighty, let's see what this sucker does. Okay. That's our son, so that one's cool. Um I have no idea what I'm looking at, by the way, in case you're in case you're wondering. Um, the y coordinates here are fairly small, which actually is is what we would expect. Uh, right ascension. So this goes all the way up to 24, right? I mean, this is this is in hours, and this is clearly in degrees. But let's see what this is. It's in hours. Okay. So the right ascension is going to be. I'm suspicious now. Uh, I think it actually gives you the distance in parsecs, too. Um, let's see. We don't really need it. We can compute it, but... Uh, who cares? Okay. We want the distance for sure. Just, for, well, do we need that? Yeah, we do to make these comp computations. And we're going to separate it a little bit. Um... By the way, it turns out this is a little bit faster than square. If you're only going to use the second power, uh, this is a little bit easier. This is a little bit faster. I mean, not, it's not easier. It's actually harder. But okay, let's see what this does. We're getting very close to actually getting something done, but we'll probably stop before we do. Okay, distance is 0. Distance is 219. Yeah, this kind of works, but okay. So for the right ascension, what we want is, if I'm, if I'm correct, what we want is the checking of the right ascension force. Um, right eight, right ascension check, second arctangent of yx. That is going to be in the wrong units. Um, that's going to be in radians. But we can convert it. So this time, let's not let's not print up too much garbage here. Um, and so RAC, and we can fix this in post. Meaning we can fix this in XYZ. We can fix this when we print it here. So this is going to be um, right ascension divided by pi times 12. I think that is correct. Hopefully I've defined pi somewhere. Yep, I have not. 
Uh, oh, I forgot that they actually, because um, I'm using CSpice libraries, even though, you know, whatever, they do declare a pi c function, which is equal to pi. Fun, fun. That's okay. Okay. So my check is coming out like. Okay, let's just go a little bit further here. My check is not working very well here. I am not getting what I expect. I mean, kind of, they're increasing at the same time, but. Um. I kind of get the feeling I'm off by a 10 somewhere. I mean, that would be very, very helpful because this is kind of exact. No, hang on. This is not cool. This is not cool at all. Uh, this is in the J2000 field, so this should be working unless I'm doing something stupid. Because um, the only thing the right ascension depends on is the X and Y. Um, and in the J2000, unless I'm unless somehow he is using ecliptic coordinates or something um, for x and y, but I don't, I don't think he is. I think he's using, um, well, you know what? Stop guessing. He actually tells us. Very nice of him to tell us. I want that in Firefox. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is ugly. Okay, uh, Equinox and Epoch of J2000. Um, I mean, X, Y, and the star's right ascension for Epoch and Equinox 2000. X, Y, and Z position should be derived from that. Based on the equi X is the direction of the vernal equinox, which is zero hours. Z is towards an, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe we can go the other way and compute the right ascent, uh, compute the x, y, and z from the right ascension. Um, x check is going to be equal to um, actually z check is going to be easier because that's going to be the sign. Um, that's going to be the distance. Uh, no, sorry, it's going to be the z coordinate over the distance. Uh, arc sign of that. That again is going to be in the wrong. I'm going to go ahead and correct the units here. Um, and that's going to be in. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot to put a minus tw times 12 here. That's exactly what I was doing wrong. Woo, I suck. Yeah. It's pi, pi is equal to 12 hours, so yeah. Now, we will expose the charlatan for the fraud that he is. Unless he's not. Yeah, this is better. This is what I expected. Interesting. I mean, this is a very minimal difference here, but... Interesting. Alright, so what we can do now is we can print... Um... Oh, I'll go ahead and convert this to the right coordinates. Okay. Uh, DRA, the delta RA, which is, I guess we could do absolute value here, because uh, I don't really care. So let's just see how this should, these numbers should be very close to zero. Yeah, that's fine. When I say very close to zero, I mean freaking zero. All right, hang on. Okay, that's good. So we, we know that this is using the right declination, and uh, the right right ascension. We don't need to compute declination. So now, let's go ahead and grab the, well, let's see, now what we're gonna do. So the right ascension declination, we can now convert uh, to uh, B1850, so we can change the right ascension and declination. Um, let's go ahead and do that. 
Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. But it is going to be Pomodoro time in 30 seconds. I'll be back in two and two. But first, I'm going to gulp a beverage. And we are almost back. And we're back. Okay. So now we have all of this crap. Now the problem I think is we're going to have here, um, a bad decision on my part, uh, was when we convert something to a constellation number, which is up here, Um, yeah, I, I automatically convert to, um, which is a bad, bad decision on my part, um, to, uh, B1875 coordinates. Uh, it would be nice if I didn't do that. If I had an, op I could probably put an option here that says, uh, int dnc do not convert equals zero. And if there is a, um, if that is given, just set these to factory. It seems easy enough to do now. Um, but no, that doesn't make sense because the constellations were defined in 1875. Uh, they would not be, the, the borders would be way off. Okay. So now what we can do is we can print the constellation numbers for every star. Um, before we adjust for proper motion, which is kind of stupid because this is kind of where we were before all of this started. Okay. So now what we can do is print F. Uh, we probably do need to say, um, A to I, S of zero. That's the, uh, that's the fundamental ID there. We don't use the magnitude. Well, shit. Let's go ahead and do VX, because we, we are going to need them eventually. And it just occurred to me we could probably have put these into a single... Um, I'm not going to do it, though. Maybe I will. Hang on. 20, 21, 22. All right. So I could have done deck this, deck the halls with... This, I don't think you can do, you can't do like, assign three things at once here, because this is C and it's very, very po powerless. But we could do this. Um, I'm probably going to fuck this up somehow. Uh, so we can define them three at a time, and they sort of make sense because they are kind of related to each other. 
Not really that great, though. And then distance, which is a computed quantity. Uh, let's see if I broke anything doing that. I probably did. Um, expected expression before 4. Oh, sorry. That was incomplete. Let's see if I've broken anything still. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, that they are all unused. I'll give you that. Did I actually suppress all the printing? I think I did. Um, I'm going to, at some point, save this to get and then clean it up a bit. All right, so what we're going to have here is the star followed by its constellation. So that's going to be ID, constellation name. And this is, I think, one place where uh, Emacs does not uh, shine. Um, and that is in automate, you know, when you're programming, it doesn't really have an IDE. I mean, of course, IDEs are for wimps. I don't need them. Yep. Now that I'm actually going to use this, the constellation code, I do need to include the, um, the spice libraries. Well, I mean, I actually need to do a little bit more than that. I need to, um, <sighs> furnish. I don't think I do a furnish here. So pretty much any other thing in this is going to have my furnish, which says load, basically load in the, um, the thing that defines, oh, come on, <laughs> BC data dump. That's probably the one that won't have it, just because it wants to be obnoxious. Uh, furnish? There it is. So we basically need to furnish it with information on how to convert from uh, J2000 to B1895. Um. Alrighty, so now we need to, that's, I forgot all about that. Well, that's, that's what we're getting here. Now, I think the other guy... Okay, so... I think what the other guy was asking me also was for the... Um, the coordinates that he got after converting to B1850, but before doing proper motion. So let me actually find that. No. 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 It's probably not, I probably don't even have it up. All right, let me see if I have anything in GitHub up. No, that's not what I want. I'm going to go and close all these tabs. And this one, too. Oh, I might actually have it stored over here because it's so important. Nope. Uh, nope. And it's not going to be over there. Okay. Um... Did I bother to, uh, here it is. I did not bother, apparently, to, to star the repository. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Alrighty, and so the, um, uh, let's see. Issues. That's the one I opened. It's eye-opening. Ha 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 ha. Okay. And so he is printing out, um, okay, so this is what we want. We want the right ascension and declination uh, in, the, in the program itself, and then, the, um, and then the right ascension and declination precessed. This might give us some clues. It probably won't, but I mean, it could in theory. All right, so we want the, that's that. We want the, um, so that is just the regular everyday, right, ascension and declination. Then we want, and of course, we're not going to label any of this because we're stupid. Um, and then we want the, the precessed declination. And, uh, and I think there is a function I, I do that does this. Um, maybe. Constellation number. Here we go. Yeah, 
And I'm pretty damn sure this is in Radians, though. Does it say Radians? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, so we need... I was going to say new RA and new declination, but of course they're 1875, so it's really the old one. Um... So this is one reason I should not have... Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, right, because in the file it's given as... Um, it's given in non-radians. It's given in, in hours. So I, I, I'd have to convert anyway. J2000 to be 1875. Uh, RA over 12 times pi. I guess I could do over 24 times 2 pi for more accuracy, but whatever. Uh, declination divided by 180 times pi c, because that is how much uh, pi is. Okay, and then we need to put in old RA, old dec, and I guess just to be fruity with it, old RA times equals... Um, uh, let's see, we need to... Pi over C over 12. It's, it's the flip of this. Uh, so hang on. No! Sorry, 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 sorry. We need to divide out the pi and multiply it. Right, that makes more sense. I see. Okay, and then we could print that out as well. Again, with no labeling, because we, we, we hate ourselves. Oh, deck. All right. So at this point, we could actually help the guy, because we, even though it's going to print out everything, he knows which ones he wants, and we could give him those. Holy crap. Yep. You have to pass these as var args. So you can't pass them. You have to pass them as ver the pointer to them. Don't you love C? Hang on. I did declare those to be doubles. Should all my floats be doubles? Hang on, what's it complaining about? Um, oh. Yep. And I should never be using floats. That's the other uh, thing we need to be not doing. So let's just do a quick double. Double, double, double your fun. Double your comments, double your freshness with double mint gum. I think we're all out of floats. We're all out of floats and I'm lost without you. Um, okay, something's unhappy about the printout. Okay, so we have ID, constellation number, RA deck, old RA, old, whoa, 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 got way off the edge. So ID, constellation number, RA deck, old RA, old deck. What the hell was I printing out before? Oh, probably X, Y, and Z and some bullshit. And I think that was just a warning, so it got away with it. Um, yeah, I kind of wish I didn't have to do it better. Okay, so... Um... So it looks like some, f um, wow, that's quite a big difference, actually. I didn't expect them to be moving around that much. And some of them have moved west of the celestial equator, which is, oh, which is not allowed. Oh, crap. Um, no, because we insist that right ascension be between... 0 and 2 pi, I think, but let me check to see what, what I said here in this function. Um, um, okay. So I think the problem with this is it's going to return numbers that are between 0 and 2 pi, but also returning numbers that are between uh, that are negatives, and we need to fix that if that's the case. So this is going to take a while to find that, but let's jump ahead a little bit. 
Da -na 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 -da -na -na. Okay. So we are at. S so apparently this. What the hell? Oh shit. Okay, so this is doing that. Yeah, this is actually not good. So hang on, this is minus. Oh, actually, that might be okay. As long as it's consistent, I don't care. 11. So once it crosses. Okay. Now, we do care for our program, but we might not care uh, for the... So let's just fix the code. Let's just fix it in our code, not in the function code. So this is actually pretty easy. Um, uh, old RA plus equals 2 pi. That's same angle. You know what? I think they actually define a 2 pi, so I'll just use that function. Okay. Hit me, baby, one more time. Uh, hang on. Did I actually multiply it already? I did already multiply it, didn't I? Um, so that's 24 hours. Actually, I'm not sure that was such a good idea, but let's do it anyway. Okay, so some of these uh, scooted over into the 23-hour uh, position. Okay. So now what he is asking me to do is to check his coordinates on a specific subset of ones where the, the old constellation and the new constellation are different. And it just occurred to me we could actually pull the constellation. We'd actually do this exactly the way he wants. Uh, we won't, but we could. 3865. So he's saying... New is point zero nine and thirty nine point. Ooh, hang on. Also, the wrong, f wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, so he's saying the new ones are point seven one six eight one four, and then twenty nine point seven five three. That's yeah, pretty close. Um, so we could actually, um, try to replicate what he's doing, then compare it to his file. Ah, uh, isn't that awesome? Okay, so now, so the one other thing we need to get is, um, is the constellation name, because that is kind of what we want. And right now we're still ignoring proper motion. I think we're always going to ignore proper motion. That's maybe like the thing that we're doing. Um, so where's constellation name? Okay, it is really in a bad place for us because it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven after uh, v -Y, v -Z. So it's 29, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure this is not going to work, though. Um, um, so I need a string called constellation. Uh, this is one of those places where you can't actually... You can't cheat. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, can't call it that. <laughs> that's a, that's a, a reserved word in C. Um, let's call it asterism. Aster equals... Um, it's actually going to be three. It's going to be three long, so we don't need to make it that big. And then stir copy. Aster nine into aster. Okay, and then we can print that. And the other thing we can do, by the way, is we can compare it to the well, the thing that we're getting here. Uh, so that should be. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Hit my baby ten more times. Kinky. Um, did I? No, hang on. Hang on. Where'd it go? Uh, I might have effed this up. Because I might be in the wrong one. Hang on. 
So let's really, really quickly uh, check to see what S29 is. I, I think it might be S28 or something. That's, but let's let's reverse engineer, man. I mean, that's not very exciting. Uh, I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not really thrilled. With, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. In the very first line. Okay, hang on. The very first line definitely should be something. Um, unless this stir copy is backwards. Pomodoro time. Back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back. And we are back. All right, so did I just let's go ahead and run this again. This time I might complain because I might have a variable that I didn't know. No, that's fine. Oh yeah, it is, okay. I think I did my copy backwards here. I meant to copy into Aster from S29, not the other way around. And so if that's correct, we should now have... Yeah. If this works, if this compiles and runs, I'm going to save it to get... Now, I'm not sure why the first line... The first line is the header line, so it really shouldn't be doing anything, but let's... What the hell? Oh, the first line is the sun, never mind. We're not, the sun's not really in a constellation. Um, we're getting quite a bit of discrepancy here between these stars, which is not good. Um, uh, so I need to fix that, because I mean, this is way, way off. Um, let me go ahead and BC Gitify this. It's clearly clearly wrong, though. Um, something's going wrong here. And why don't I go put these next to each other so we have... Oh! Can I put that in there for that? Uh, do this. Let's move this a little bit closer to its... Um, what it's supposed to be. And we need to uppercase it if we're going to compare it. I, I, I realize that. Okay. Oh, I think we are off by one. Or maybe not. Hang on. Okay, we don't need to print the 29 for sure anymore. Okay, I... Uh, did I... Oh, hang on. Shit, 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 shit. No, unshit. Did I... Yeah, I changed RA in declination, so these should be correct and be as printed unless constellation number requires them to be in 
freaking radians. But let's not worry about that yet. Alright. Yes, this clearly is wrong because at declination 36, Tucanus is. So this is probably. I need to send this in, in radians. Uh, I think. Virgo does not go that far to the north. Campbelldorpus definitely is not. Unless I flip my number somehow. But hang on. Let's just actually read the instructions. In radian. See, right there. Didn't even have to check. Um, so divided by 12 times. I probably could just use two variables here at some point. And divided by 180 times pi c. And the fact is I'm going to actually need it as a... As a um, Variable because I'm going to compare it, but you know, who cares about that? There we go. For the most part, these will agree with each other. I mean, I know one of them is an uppercase, one of them is not, so. Uh, but aside from that, they will agree up to case insensitivity. I think there is a way to convert a string to uppercase uh, fairly easily, so I might do that. Or to proper, to camel case, or proper case, as they say. Not camel case, proper case, different. Okay. I have now been streaming for motherfucker. Yes, I've been streaming for a motherfucker. His name, no. Uh, two and a half hours. So I do want to take a break now. Unfortunately, when I take a break, I tend not to come back. And because of the coronavirus and the fact that I'm old, I might never come back. But I do need to take a break. All right, thank you, everyone, for watching. No promises I'll be back. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the stream, or I don't really care.